Shalom. I want to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachach, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the Great Millstone at Ruel. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the full elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad throughout the earth. And to show you how, to show you how Satan works, you know, I had a, did a lesson in responding to uh, Elder Yashawamba's video rebuking that reprobate camp that called themselves trying to uh, turn a, a, a pagan day into a holy day. You know, trying to commemorate uh, Yahweh Shai eating swine's flesh, you know, which is completely abominable and, and totally wicked. But anyway, um, I had did the video and it didn't, uh, the, the audio did not record. You know, I um, forgot to set the uh, the option back to uh, mic and media. So <laughs> it just recorded, you know, the lesson, but it didn't catch no sound. It didn't catch, you know, my voice or anything. So, you know, I'm here to just, uh, you know, do it again. But I'm going to try to, you know, make it a little more uh, short. And uh, basically uh, what I want to uh, land back off of is uh the 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 story of Jehu, right? And uh Elder Yashawamba, you know, he basically brought it out in his lesson. And I even chuckled a little bit because I was like, if this was the ancient world, that would have been a perfect style setup for that 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 reprobate group. All right, because uh Jehu <clears throat> You know, he pretty much uh, set the set those uh, Baal worshippers up. You know, by uh, you know setting a proclaiming a feast, and uh, you know they was all down all the Baal worshippers, and he was like, yeah, well let's uh, you know we're gonna give burnt offerings, so you know they got all the meat ready. You know they got all the drink offerings, they had all the drink ready. And they didn't even realize that I was getting ready to get lined up. You know, those of y'all that watched this video, uh, the elder going into it, you know, you you can and you can feel free to go back and uh, read it. Second Kings, the 10th chapter. All right. But uh, they got lined up, you know, he wait till they got uh, full and drunk. And he had 80 men outside. All right. Waiting for, for the for the queue. And they bust up in there and they and they laid all of them down because Jehu basically said that uh whoever y'all let go if you 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 leave somebody alive that that you you got to go all right so they wasn't playing and uh this reprobate uh israelite group that did this if this was the ancient world that would have been a perfect uh style <laughs> judgment for them all right, since they want to um, be in that festive, uh, gluttonous spirit, you know, that that, that would have been good for them. Because uh, it I'm I, and I wouldn't it wouldn't be far fetched to to compare them to uh, Baal worshippers, because when you analyze their doctrine, which they're teaching that uh, you don't have to keep the law. You know, if you teach uh, the law, they, they're going to call you a Pharisee. So this is like a like a Christian organization, but they're calling themselves Israelites and even, uh you know, calling on the names are in the in the Lashawan Kodash. You know, this might be a straight up uh, uh, agent, uh, another agent group for all we know. But anyway, let me get uh, this scripture because. You know, them setting that stumbling block, they're, they're sons of Belial, man. This is uh, Revelation 2 <clears throat> and 14. And this is to the church of uh, per Pergamos. It says, but I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel. To eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Okay. 
And that's what they're doing. They're, they're casting a stumbling block. You're going to tell our people you can uh, keep thanks, thank, thanks uh, taken, thanks killing. But uh, we're going to make it into a high holy day. We're going to call it Yahweh Shai day. And you can eat all the swine and, 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 and all the abomination, the things that forbid us in our law to eat. You're going to go ahead and, and tell them it's all right. All right. And, and, and the main leader. All right. The, the big 400 pound guy, he looked like he could eat up half that table. You see how big that guy is? He looked like he like the, the whole platter of, of, of meat. He looked like he'll devour that. And still have some room for uh, that carrot cake that was in the refrigerator. That dude is a straight glutton, but he's supposed to be King David. And he and he's leading the pack. So that Jehu uh style ambush, that would have been a that, that's that was that would have been a perfect judgment for that household. Alright? And you could just imagine that. Like, let me let me get this scripture real quick. Because this is why the scriptures also say not to be a glutton. Proverbs 23 and 20 says, be not among wine bibbers, among riotous eaters of flesh. And you got, you know, families that are obese, like the like the clumps. And they'll go to any big buffet and just clear it clear out, man. And they'll be sitting there all day. You, you just carry got to come in and, and, and get them up out of there. That's that's he he he's one of those type of dudes. Super excited with all that food and all that flesh up there. I, I wouldn't be surprised if this dude is on meds, all type of meds. But just think about it though. Going back to uh. That feast that uh, Jehu set those Baal worshippers up with, so you know that they was a, uh, you know, they was uh, you know offering to the Lord. Well, it was not to the Lord; it was to Baal, right? And you, I'm pretty sure Jehu waited till everybody was uh, full, you know, meat between stuck between their teeth, you know, dudes sitting back in their chairs, uh, mouth open, eyes dim. Getting ready to uh, fall asleep, and then had and and then had those eighty men come and kick the doors in, and 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 got busy with the sword. Perfect timing. All right, that a deaf Andrew could have did the same. All right, just imagine that. You in here calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, tempting the Lord, with all that swine up there. You lucky to, they lucky the Lord didn't send a death angel up in there or waited till they all got uh, super full and and, 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 and drunk out their mind. That, that was a, they was not, definitely not in the spirit uh, of the Lord, man. It says, for the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty and drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. All right, and you know they... You know, after a couple plagues, you drowsy, you ready to fall asleep. Jehu would have ran right up on y'all, man. Him and the crew. Cause it, that was a that was a wicked festivity, man. And you know, the Lord talked about how the the, the wicked priests, you know, they would not um separate the holy from the profane you know and that hey that's how you know this is uh israel this is the type of shit that they was doing ezekiel 22 and let me see <clears throat> ezekiel 22 and 26 it says her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. 
They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shrewd difference between the unclean and the clean. And have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths, and I am profaned among them. And they profaned the Lord in his feast. And they didn't show the difference between the clean and the unclean. Even in Job, it says, who can turn an unclean into a, a, a clean thing? Not one. So they violated. And if, like I said, if this was the ancient world, uh, 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 what Jehu did to those uh, vile worshipers, that would have been justified. Straight up. And Jehu's in the same spirit that Moses was in. All right, when 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 he uh, uh, witnessed Jake out there partying and eating, and and and, and uh, dancing before the damn golden calf, and he lined up some men, some Le some Levites, and basically said, <laughs> "I'm gonna need you to go and kill all these niggas real quick, and you get a blessing." That day, let me, let me let me find that uh that account. <clears throat> so like yeah, it's an Exodus thirty two. Yeah, it is uh, Exodus thirty two and start at nineteen. It says, and it came to pass as soon as he came nigh into the camp. That he saw the calf in the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands and brake them beneath the mount. And he took the calf which they had made and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder and strawed it un upon the water and made the children of Israel drink of it. <clears throat> he made them basically drink uh, gold. And Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people unto thee? that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them. And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot. Thou knowest the people that they are set on mischief. You know how the, you know how Jake is. You know how these niggas are. You know, they, they just they just wicked. <laughs> they just gotta be they just gotta do mischief. For they said unto me, Make us gods which shall go before us, for as for this Moses the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we would not what has become of him. And I said unto them, whosoever have any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me. Then I cast it into the fire and there came out this calf. And Moses saw that the people were naked, you know, meaning that, you know, their, their sins were, were, they, they were pretty much exposed. Okay. They they was out there doing wickedness and, and, and Moses he saw what they were doing. All right. It says, For Aaron had made them naked un, unto their shame among their enemies. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. Like, hey, anybody that's down with Yahabash Yahabash Miao Shai. Step over here. Come over here real quick, man. Who's on Yahweh's side? And all the sons of Levi, which ended up becoming the priests, gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. So while they, you know, Jake was partying, all right, drink, uh, eating and drinking and, and rising up to play in that turn up festive spirit, you know, he Moses gave them the same commandment that Jehu gave his men. Go and go and put these motherfuckers to death. Right. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. And there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. 3,000. So that they, they put in a lot of work. All right. 
And that's, you know, you hear of 3,000 niggas in the hood die in, 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 in one day. That, that'll be international <laughs> news right there. You ain't never heard that many niggas die in one day. In, 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 a, in, a, in, in one day. So, yeah. For Moses has said, consecrate yourselves to the day. It's like you, for Moses has said, consecrate yourselves today to the Lord. Every man upon his son and upon his brother that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. You know, in other words, hey, y'all y'all uh, earn yourselves a blessing. All right. Because you chose the side of the Lord and you and you put these niggas to death. So, hey, may a blessing come upon you this day. Yeah, man. Hey, Mo hey the Lord wasn't playing. And you see Moses, hey, that, 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 that austere spirit was on him. Moses, he was with the shits, man. This is how we. This is how we know Moses, King David, <laughs> you know, because you know even King David, you know, he said that he would uh, slay all evildoers out of the city. That Psalms uh, one hundred and one. Yeah, Psalms 101 and uh, 8. It says, I would early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. All right. So, you know, he's in that, that same, that, that's that same spirit. Okay. And they wouldn't have been able to see, but this, but, but this big, Guaba, a uh, uh, trash. All right, this this this, this big overstuffed laundry bag calls himself King David. No, King David would have he he, he would have stuck his sword right through through that gut. All right, because he he wouldn't have tolerated that. Who wouldn't be doing shit like this up under the uh, the throne of David? Oh, David is king sitting on the throne. You hell no. And they got dudes standing around like this with with with, with that symbol on his shirt. Most I gonna he, he gonna do a lot of slaying, man. All right, but that that Jehu uh, account that hey that that that's perfect. That would have been a perfect uh, judgment for them. And we read these stories because the Lord, he did these things as an example, man. 1 Corinthians 10 and starting at 1, it says, Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant how that all of our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Yahweh Shai. But with many of them the Mosai was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. And and you 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 seeing some of them well, a lot of them are back today. All them niggas that was dying off in the wilderness, being wicked, they're back today. In the same spirit. Now, these things were our examples to the intent we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted. Neither be idolaters as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. All right. And. and Y'all got a whole different Yahweh Shai. All right. For you to have to, to sit up there and <clears throat> think that you can uh, turn a, 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 a pagan festivity day into a, a, a high holy day. That you, you teaching a whole nother uh, gospel. Yahweh Shai ain't never uh, taught nothing like that. 
And if you and, and when we commemorate him, we do it on the Passover. You're supposed to eat lamb and 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 yayan and un, and unleavened bread. So going back, it says, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day, three and 20,000, 20, 23,000 niggas. All right. And, and, and that's how the Lord was doing it. Then he wasn't playing with Jake. Had them circling around for 40 years until only two people was able to uh, get in. Neither let us tempt Yahweh Shai as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. The Lord was just constantly making examples out of them. And, and, and just wait. He going to make examples out of guys who know that they Israel. All right. He said, uh, Peter said, for judgment must begin at the house of the most high. All right. It says, now all these things happen unto them for examples, and they are written for our admon admonition, our warning, upon whom the ends of the world are come. You know, so we see these things and, you know, we take note and we highlight this. This is, this is uh, wicked behavior. And they got to be rebuked, and it's definitely worthy of being cursed. And brothers, are, I'm pretty sure already then sent them up on them, because this this shit is, is wicked as hell. And I didn't I didn't want to I didn't originally I didn't even want to do a second video on this, but you know, watching the other brothers' videos, it just kind of sparked me, especially uh, uh this one, when when he uh, read it about Jehu, how he he, he set their asses up beautifully. Got them all full and drunk, you know, from their sacrifice. And that was a perfect time for the ambush. Because you ain't finna get up and put up no fight. You ain't got no, you, 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 you drowsy, you're, you're tired. All right. That's what the scriptures say, uh, the house of fools is in the house of uh, feasting. So... Yeah, these, these these dudes are straight up. Got, uh, what is this, man? Straight up reprobate. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, these people are they're they're straight up reprobates. And you understand why the Lord said that you know He's going to take two thirds of them out. You understand why it says in Second Edges nine, you know, let the uh, multitude therein perish that was born in vain. There'd be many more that perish than they that be uh, saved. You see why. So just let this be a lesson, man. All right. And, and you know, you, you, you're you going to have, you know, guys like this popping up here to really just sow confusion and, and to cast stumbling blocks. And if you're not of the, the elect, if you, you don't, you're not uh, built upon that, that solid foundation. You're going to be moved by stuff like this. It's because you're not of the elect. When we see shit like this, we, we, we mark them which cause the visions. So. I'm going to cut it right there. I said I was going to make it, you know, short. You know, the other one was a little longer than, you know. Uh, it was It was longer than where I went now, so. I'm going to just cut it right here, and uh, hopefully this was edifying. Y'all watch me. I'll shout back a thumb. Shalom.